clear one, a case of apoplexy. Well, this is metaphor. Apoplexy is some life-threatening condition where blood rushes to the head. The idea here is that the life force itself is fiery, and we can actually get too much of it to the point of danger. We can access it in a way where really we, we can't expect the community or life itself to put up with us. Sometimes enthusiasm or even courage or creativity um, and confidence, they, they can be overblown. They can be inappropriate. Sometimes inappropriate courage is simply suicidal rashness and inappropriate levels of confidence is bombast. It, it's, it's a distortion of the principle. It's going too far in a certain direction. There is a possibility that we can allow ourselves that degree of self-expression, um, but it needs to be done the way a child does it. Innocent enthusiasm and no real danger to the community. Now, a child is not really a danger to the community because they lack the power of an adult. So it's quite unusual for an adult to be free to access this level of personal energy and express it willy-nilly into the world. It's possible, but it's unusual. And the warning here is that we really have to be very careful should we want to try that. The, the, the teaching within this degree is, is more to do with an extraordinary level of self-management is required when we have those kind of energies. All of us have it, it's not just Leo types. We all sometimes are beside ourselves with anger or enthusiasm or reckless courage. And at that point, we really do have to put on the brakes a bit and think, is this wise, actually? Will this be safe for me personally? Will this be okay for the other people who will be affected by this energy? And the warning is that maybe, maybe not, maybe not. We need to allow ourselves to go only so far in this direction. So normally when we move into this level of energy, we're thwarted. The community stops us. It's just too dangerous. However, with this extraordinary level of self-management, such energy can be channeled, and it can be channeled into a creative endeavor. Certain artists and other creative people, they can get lost in this burst, this flare of fire, where they just put it out, and, and they're contained within their artist studio or whatever, and they produce amazing work. And a writer can stay up all night and the next day and continue writing because this idea is, is bursting through, it must come out. Certain types of people can actually use this energy. And if, if this is learned, if this energy can be awakened and channeled, directed creatively, then there's a great deal of power associated with it. If we do not resist the life force ourselves, if we learn how to manage it, in other words, so that its impact is not dangerous or hurtful to another, if we can do that, then we ourselves become that irresistible life force and can achieve great things. Mm -hmm.